word this morning we have visiting with us in this great occasion today a father a father amen um hold on hold on hold on. one of the fathers of faith in this country a man that is shaping the world with the gospel of jesus christ please standing on your feet this morning with jesus joy all the way from Trem, Lagos. Let's receive Bishop Dr. Mike Okonko as he brings God's word. Thank you, sir. Come on, lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are alive, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If into the word of God. Let's read there the, a very familiar scripture. John 3.16. John 3.16. We'll read that first. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not what say it out loud should not what but have everlasting life praise god and uh, it's so important that we understand this love the love that is not partial the love that is not dependent is not selfish is not dependent on what you can get or what you cannot get the love that you can stake your life on very important the love of god for god so love the world he didn't say he loves the church the world the world that denies him the world that spits at him the world that does not want him the world that hates him and the scripture say he so he didn't say the Lord god loved the world he said so the word so there is very key and that is qualifying that this type of love cannot in any way be articulated in human words god's kind of love not maternal love not paternal love not natural love not romantic love all these things this love that i've just mentioned is dependent of if you love me i love you if you don't love me i won't love you so i'm talking to you to understand this love of god that is irrevocable irreversible unconditional blood-bought ironclad extravagant love of god the church today has not truly really understood it because when you understand it every other problem is solved every other problem in life is solved god's kind of love that is showered on us paul was writing to the church in romans he said but god commended his love towards us he deployed his love to us so that while we are yet sinners think of that listen i fear a man I, I i i don't fear a man who killed his enemy you know there are people who they kill their enemy they think they are superheroes the man to really fear is somebody who killed his only son to save his enemies How can you deny such love that's why i know that listen at the end of the day when we came come face to face with god there is no area you will blame god for man who fails to be with him forever there is no area because god god has it all covered to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to be part of him everyone there is no one that will have an excuse it is him pursuing us 